Um, I would say the difference between machine learning and artificial intelligence are uh, artificial intelligence is really a, a larger uh, entity that actually utilizes the outcome of machine learning. Machine learning to me really is um, taking the big data, this is leveraging your big data, and using that to make these models that have an output that can then be consumed and utilized by artificial intelligence. So, for example, um, machine learning would be classifying users into demographic groups. Uh, it would be predicting the prices on certain inventory, uh, real estate prices, and what have you. And AI, to me, would be more of the line of you're optimizing and you're running through, and that technique of, uh, of controlling your pace and your fill and so forth in conjunction with the predictions coming from machine learning would be to me more of an AI kind of thing. AI is more taking a lot of knowledge and assembling them into something that's used to decision and do something on the fly whereas machine learning to me is classifying or predicting something that is utilized downstream so it's an important tool under the hood but typically I would say that it's not uh, used unto itself. It really is a digestion, information, compression, to then yield something that's usable to, uh, to an AI or a, uh, a, an optimization process in general. Yeah, I, I, I would like to think that there's some uh, situation in the future where it could be mostly automated. I, I've been in this industry long enough, or any industry in, in that use, utilizes the machine learning to say uh, that Ideally, you always kind of want a man in a loop for various reasons, but in general, most things can go pretty smoothly. So uh, what we call a set it and forget it kind of approach. Um, I, my predictions for where this all is going is really, you know, we're trying to unify, the, the industry is trying to unify screen so that eventually media should be irrelevant. It'll be able to be played on your, do your desktop, your mobile, your TV, and whatever TV is morphing into, it's really content so much as where you play it in content, really. Uh, ideally, it'll be able to say, distribute your budget how you want it, target the right people. Uh, one of my hopes for the future is that we move away from a model of, of a budget and spending that budget to specifically being so good at targeting what you want that the world becomes optimized on the KPI, optimized on those clickers or converters you want, and if we go above and beyond that, that margin is eaten by us, and there, that would give us greater impetus to pursue what you want, save the rest of the inventory for the world where it's actually valuable and not just pursue things for the sake of spending a budget. Uh, that's one big thing I think is out there. I think bringing to bear more and more information at auction time is crucial. Uh, that moves away from this notion of static segments where you had to have pre-characterized users and say they're of this demographic bucket or they have this interest to a representation where the user information that you gleaned over time is, is so strong and can be conveyed to the, the auction call and utilized there that you now can make runtime decisions relative to everything you knew about a user, everything you know about the media, and everything you see in the specific ad call at that time in order to facilitate doing a great job there. So reach no longer becomes a question, it's a matter of just how many auctions do you see and how can we deliver that KPI most eff effectively. So set it and forget it would be great, but all those things as well relative to how things could go would be fantastic in, in our arena and enable us to leverage everything we know about.